Keith's bull was a nice bull. Very, very, very solid bull. Uh, we're gonna go in for lunch, have some, have some grub, and uh, I got a surprise for him. After lunch, we're gonna go back out there. I'm gonna put him in a stand and see if he can get us another one. It's gonna be windy. You know, we're coming off a full moon and I don't know if we're gonna, we're gonna make this happen or not. Wind is terrible. Behind that tree, you see? Right, that's 340 yards out there. He's standing behind that tree for me. I can't do it. He's standing behind the tree. Oh, I got him. Got him. That Neil guy was 340 yards away. These are such cool animals. I mean, they, they're, they are more unusual than just about any other animal I've ever taken. Um, I want to uh, point this out to you. Uh, again, this is called the Neil guy antelope. It's in the same family as a, let's say, a, a an Attix or an Oryx, they're, they're in the antelope family. It's just, these are really, really big. Uh, take a look at the hump on their back. I mean, it's got a great big hump on the back. Uh, and, and I'm gonna show you some stuff on this particular one. The, I mean, the, the hair is very thin up here on, on the top of it, almost like a warthog. I mean, you can see a lot of the skin underneath it, but it's got coarse hair, long hair up here on top of the hump. Uh, back here, it's actually got a, a place on its back where it has a scar where it, I guess where it was going underneath the barbed wire fence and it cut it. Uh, there's all kinds of markings on this from, from fighting. These are, these are extremely aggressive animals and they, are, they can take a licking. I mean, this is a 338 Savage Lapua Magnum and I mean, uh, Leroy doesn't advise anybody to come out here with anything smaller than 30 caliber and they better be able to shoot because these guys, they, uh, they live hard, okay? The, uh, there's a big old scar back on him back here. I'm gonna get around and walk around this guy and just show you some different things. I want you to, to, to be able to see. Let me show you some of the cool things about this guy. I mean, first off, start back here on the tail. Look at the long tail on him. And that's kind of cool. And the coloration, the hair is really, really coarse. And, and on these bulls, the older they are, the darker they get. That's why they call them the blue bull. Take a look at this, the scarring on it. You can see the scarring right here. They, uh, they're just beautiful animals. And again, these are Neil Guy antelope. And Leroy Gonzalez has got more Neil Guy antelope than anybody I know of, seriously. I mean, the density of Neil Guy antelope on his place is pretty incredible. Doesn't mean you're gonna get one because I promise you, they are hard to hunt. They've got it all. They got a good sense of smell, good sight and uh, they can hear pretty doggone good even in wind like this. So if y'all want more information on coming down here with Leroy and not just going on a hunt for Neil Guy, but Leroy does some unbelievable saltwater fishing too. I mean, uh, we can hook you up with him. Uh, log on to my website. We'll have a direct link over to Leroy's website or we'll have his telephone number coming up at the end of the show. Make sure and get a hold of him and uh, be ready. It's way down in South Texas. It's about The bay is about three miles that way and Mexico's about 20 miles that way and this is gonna fill my freezer. <laughs>